All right, sounds good. Uh oh. <laughs> it's all good. All right. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. On today's Business Applications Lunch and Learn, we're going to be diving into Microsoft's AI capabilities within Dynamics 365. My name is Nick Fratello. I'm a technical specialist based here in Burlington, Massachusetts. And on the team's call, I've got my colleague, Jean-Paul Mahana. Jean-Paul, how are you today? I'm good. How are you, Nick? Hey, I'm doing great. We're, uh, we're really excited to have you and the ability to showcase Microsoft's AI capabilities. If you're not familiar with this channel and the Microsoft Business Applications YouTube, we cover everything from Dynamics 365 and all the way through the Power Platform, including Power BI, Microsoft Flow, and in today's case, Microsoft AI. If there's something that you'd like to see on one of our episodes, put a comment or feel free to like this video and share it with a colleague. We publish new content every week and we wanna hear from you, our community, to understand what's top of mind. So again, JP, thanks for joining us today. We're really excited for uh, for your demonstration. Nick, thanks for having me. Excellent. Dynamic 365 AI empower people across organizations to discover predictive insights, take informed actions, and improve customer experience leveraging the power of AI. I've structured today's agenda around seven key elements. We're going to go in details and talk about the relationship assistant, the email engagement, auto capture, relationship analytics, predictive lead scoring, predictive opportunity scoring, and last, we'll talk about note analysis. Next, we'll be covering the assistant. The assistant leverages the power of AI to bring insights to your team in context right when they matter most. The relationship assistant keeps an eye on your daily actions and communications, and it generates a collection of intelligent suggestions based upon information from both CRM and Exchange. It reminds you of upcoming activities, alerts you when the recipient opened your message. It evaluates your communications and suggests when it might be time to reach out to a contact that has been inactive for a while. The assistant is designed to deliver the most important and relevant information in relation to what you're doing right now. The assistant also sorts the cards by priority and filter them for your current contacts. When you start your day, you can rely on the assistant to draw your attention to your most important items and tasks that are drawn from all areas of the application. In this specific example, since we're working with a lead, it's showing us what is coming up next for this specific lead. We have a meeting coming up in 12 minutes. It also shows me the customer location. If I were to use my mobile device in the field, I will also be able to see the relationship assistant I can also utilize the integrated mapping to navigate to my customer's address. The assistant is available throughout the solution. You can access it at any time from the upper right corner by selecting this light bulb. This is gonna pull up all the relationship assistant cards or the assistant cards for all your leads, opportunities, or cases. This is a way for you to keep up with everything that is happening without having to drill into each one of those records. Next, we'll cover email engagement, how you can stay on top of your email with alerts and reminders, prioritizing prospects or customers that are most engaged. With the integration of Dynamic 365 and Office 365, I have the ability to send emails to lead, contacts, opportunities, or accounts right from within Dynamic 365 without having to leave my browser. If you're looking at the screen, you'll notice to the right-hand side, we have a section called email engagement. With Dynamic 365 today, in addition to having the ability to sending emails, you're now able to know what happens after that email is being sent. You're able to track that email. You're able to find out whether the customer has opened it, how many times did they open it, where did they open it from, did they download any attachments or view them, did they click on the links that they were included in that email, or have they responded to your email? In addition to that, you could also set up a reminders to be notified if the customer has not responded to your email by a specific date, or if the customer has not opened your email by a specific date, or simply a reminder just to keep you informed of anything that you're working on. Next, we will cover auto capture. Pertinent activities are added to Dynamic 365 with intelligent activity to record matching. 
Auto Capture enables Dynamic 365 for sales to access your email in Microsoft Exchange to find and display messages that are related to your work and sales. This makes it easy to see your relevant email messages together with all of the other activities that are related to a given record in sales. Now, each message remains private and visible only to you unless you choose to convert it into a tracked email, which you can do that with just one click to make that email visible to the rest of your team in Microsoft Exchange. But we know oftentimes that those messages are not related to a specific lead or an opportunity that you're working on. So in here, you'll have the ability to decide whether you want to track this message or not. Now, assuming that this message was related to the specific lead, I can click on the track button to automatically track that email and add it to the rest of the activity timeline where others on my team will be able to view it. Next, we'll cover relationship analytics. Relationship analytics prioritize customers using machine learning signals from Office 365 and Dynamic 365 that reveals relationship health and relationship engagement overviews. Relationship analytics provides an activity history, KPIs, health scores, and health trends for contact, opportunity, and lead records. The most important KPIs, including your team's previous and next activity. The health score is based on an analysis of a large volume of data signal from both dynamic and exchange. In this view, I can see that my lead current health is poor, but the relationship is steady. How many emails, meetings, phones were initiated by us versus them? The aggregate time spent by both teams. Emails opened, attachment views, and link click. I can also see who we've been reaching out most on that specific lead and who we've been contacting most on that specific lead. And last, we have a full relationship activity timeline that shows us all the emails that they were sent, emails received, meetings sent, meeting received, phone calls made, and phone calls received. Lead scoring increased conversions and win rates by finding and prioritizing prospects with the highest likelihood to buy based on predictive intelligence. Now, we know that in a highly competitive market, it is important for sellers to spend time on quality leads to reach their sales targets. Dynamic 365 predictive lead scoring allows you to identify and prioritize leads that have more chances of converting into opportunities on a scale of a 1 to 100. You notice if we take a look at the first lead, currently it's scored at 98. That lead trend is steady but we can also see whether that lead is declining or improving. And then we can see that lead grade as well. Rather than me just cold calling, I want to focus on those quality leads. So I'm going to go ahead and drill in into Brenda. From a single screen, I can immediately see what's important to do next through visual indicators. The lead score displays the top 10 reasons that are influencing the score. These reasons come from the lead and the related entity attributes. Right now, we're only looking at three, but if there were more, they will be listed all in the same window. Prior to owning a sales navigator license, whenever I needed to research a lead, I would navigate to LinkedIn, type in their information, copy that information from their LinkedIn profile, and share it with the rest of my team. Sometimes I also found myself researching them on different websites. But with the embedded LinkedIn Sales Navigator widget, I can automatically pull up my customer information, which saves me a ton of time from having to research them on different sites. You can choose which tabs you want to show or hide. Right now, we have multiple tabs available to us. The first one is the Profile tab, which shows the lead current role, how long they've been in current role, how many connections they have, if we have any shared connections, their current location. Icebreaker shows the person highlights and activities on LinkedIn. Get Introduced shows the mutual connections and allow for a warm introduction to that person. It also shows the type of connections that you have with that lead, whether it's a first connection, a second connection, or a team link connection. If you're not familiar with team link, team link shows your colleagues in your company's network that are not in your LinkedIn network. For example, 
it will show you any employee at your organization that knows that lead, whether you are connected with them in LinkedIn or not. And that way you can reach out to that employee internally and ask for that introduction if needed. Related lead shows potential sales navigator leads who are like the target person. Sometimes even if you successfully connect with your lead, they're probably not the only key stakeholder or decision maker. With this feature, you can save a ton of time from having to research who else you need to connect with. Now going back to the profile tab, a couple of options that we did not talk about is the ability to send direct messages to that lead from here. Connect with the lead, or if this is not the right lead, you'll be able to select that from here and make sure that you're selecting the right lead. When messaging the lead directly from here, this is in-mail messages, you'll have the ability to check off the CRM option and any message that you type in, in here and send to this lead will automatically be captured within Dynamic 365 as well. This information will be available for other members who are currently working on a specific lead or specific opportunity to monitor and see what kind of interactions you've had with this lead so far. In addition to the Get Introduced features that is available to you within the Sales Navigator Embedded Widget, Dynamic 365 introduced a new feature called Who Knows Whom. The feature provides you with details such as names and email addresses of your colleagues who knows the lead. It also sorts them by strength. In this specific example, we see that Selig Borden has been the most successful in reaching out to Brenda and Brenda has been responding most to Selig. There is two ways of viewing who knows whom. You could view it in this way, or you could view it in a graph view. Both ways will be able to show you who has been the most successful in reaching out to Brenda. With these details, you can ask your colleagues for help in getting introduced to a lead and increase the chances of a positive outcomes. Now to get introduced, you can send an email to the selected contact without leaving the page that you're on. As we know, we have a direct integration between Dynamic 365 and Office 365. So in order for you to send an email, you have the ability to send it directly from within Dynamic 365 without having to navigate from your CRM solution to your email solution. Next, we're going to cover talking points. As a sales representative, you interact with many customers and it can be difficult to remember details about each, such as latest entertainment, event they attended, favorite sports or game they watched, vacation they had taken. In Dynamic 365 for sales, talking points provide a mechanism to automatically identify such conversation starters from your emails. The conversation starters include topics that are related to health, entertainment, sports, or family. These insights are available on the contact page, lead form, or opportunity form. Let's say, for example, a customer had sent you an email about them being sick recently. Dynamic 365 analyzes the email and automatically categorizes it to health. This text will appear in the talking points title in the health category. This will help you to start a conversation with your customer and you can choose your customer's area of interest. So in here, if I wanna focus on health, sports, entertainment, or family, I can pick one of those conversation starters and I can start that conversation with Brenda that way. JP, that's excellent. Thanks for showcasing all of Microsoft's Dynamics AI and the embedded intelligence within Dynamics 365 for sales and the platform as, as a whole. It's really uh, very valuable to see all of the signals and how we can proactively connect the relationship assistant and the embedded intelligence and everything that you've showcased. And it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. We've really just scratched the surface, but we'll, uh, we'll put some links to the documentation on how to get started. Um, anything else that you'd like to share with the community? I would say keep checking next channel. We're going to be uh, making a lot of those videos going forward. So after the April release, we're going to record some uh, more videos. So check again, uh, more, more videos to come.
Yeah, thanks, JP. And if this was helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up or to add a comment or even share it with a colleague. That really helps us and to let us know what you're interested in seeing and showcasing. But on behalf of uh, Jean-Paul Mahana and myself, we appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye, guys.